Welcome to using Run3D within NK Active. So this is our 3D gait analysis system. So first things first, load the patient to the system, and then we then have to calibrate the camera to show the, tell the camera effectively where the treadmill is. Then this is then followed by sticking all these reflective markers to the lower limb. And this is extremely important because this is what the cameras are looking for. They're going to be looking for these little clusters and dots that you've seen that has been applied now. And then from this, that's when then is going to build a 3D skeleton of the lower limb. This is the same technology that is used in films like Planet of the Apes, etc., and to make video games like FIFA or when I was much younger, things like um, Tony Hawk and, and whatnot. And by doing this, it allows us to then build that relationship between the lower limb, um, between the hip, knee and ankle. Then once we apply the markers, we then do our calibration. And then, then this, this basically tells the cameras that we are now just looking for this setup. So the whole camera system is now personalized to that individual and the marker setup. Then there's a climatization period of sort of four minutes of getting used to walking on the treadmill. And then after that, we then start collecting some data. And here we can see in live format what is happening. So we can see that skeleton of that person walking on the treadmill in this instant. And then we can then also capture some running data as well. And we can capture different speeds with no orthoses, different shoes. So you can start to get a, an idea of what's happening. Then the next stage is checking the data to make sure everything is smooth and then we then load everything to the report and this is done instantly. The next stage is then going through all of this data and explaining, okay, what does this mean? So the reason it's called 3D gait analysis, there are three planes of motion. There's a sagittal plane, which is that first column, then frontal plane, a second column and transverse plane, that third column. And effectively, if you think of sagittal plane as the ability with their flexion extension and the ability to sort of push off and your body to adapt to the load going through it, think of the frontal plane as that inversion and eversion. And we sort of think about this as the sort of ability with, with strength, for example. And then we think of that transverse plane, so how much twisting and rotation is there. And we sort of think of this plane as the ability sort of our control and, and efficiency. And then what we then do is we then build the picture, not just looking at the ankle, but from pelvis down to ankle. So we can have a look. So for example, if someone, if you've come into clinic and there is a, an ankle problem, we may have to say, actually, when you're running or walking, the problem isn't occurring at the ankle, it's occurring further up the chain. So we may start seeing there's increased motion around the hip, which then may be linked to then some reduction in strength through that region. And then we've also got the ability to use the handheld dynamometer in clinic to really then look at honing, okay, where are these possible strengths deficits? Where do we then need to really work on improving that strength data? So then we can then turn and say, for example, you may have an Achilles problem, but the problem is, yes, we need to load the Achilles tendon, but then there's also then working on hip um, strength around the hip region. We also test everyone in the same set of shoes because the markers are stuck to the shoes. We're measuring what the shoe is doing, not the foot, for example. So by testing someone in the same shoe, we know that the effects we're seeing aren't related to footwear. Then once we have finished going through all of the results, the aim is then to build a targeted treatment plan to enable you to get back to whatever activity that it is that you want to do. This may include going through some gait re-education work, it may include foot orthoses, it may include strengthening, it may include a change of footwear, but it's now starting to add data to that treatment program to try and increase the chance of getting the results that we want. Music